we've all heard before, this is like our 10th or 11th year here of doing this with our memorial. And you've all heard before about the 11th day, the 11th hour, the 11th month, the end of World War I, and called Armistice Day at that time. Later on, under President Dwight D. Eisenhower, changed to Veterans Day. What is a veteran? A veteran, whether active duty, discharged, retired, reserve, National Guard, if someone at one point in their life wrote that blank check, made payable to the United States of America for an amount of up to and, up to and including his or her life. Throughout our nation's history, there's a unique group of citizens who have selflessly stepped forward to protect the rest of the nation, bravely ensuring our safety, security, and well-being. And it is that small group, the mere 7% of Americans who have ever served in our United States Armed Forces who we celebrate and thank today. It is because of their dedication and sacrifice that we celebrate Veterans Day to recognize and honor those who have placed country above self, who have determined the safety and security of others is more important than their own and who have done their duty by taking their place in line just as generations of military men and women have done before them. A veteran is a person who at some point in their life has written a blank check payable to the United States of America for any amount, up to and including my life. We have served in times of peace and in times of conflict. To all of these veterans, we send you all a thank you from those of us at home whom appreciate your sacrifice to keep us safe at home. Those of us who have served, we know your sacrifice. To those that haven't, well, I just hope they can imagine what it's like to be half a world away from your home and family when you miss them the most. Thank you, veterans. That's what today is for, and we really appreciate all of the service and sacrifice you've provided throughout the years. Thanks to the city of Bettendorf, who has a great memorial behind me. If you'd like to contribute to that memorial, we'd really like your help. On your tables, you'll find these envelopes, and you'll also find some information. This is an opportunity for you to step forward to help keep this memorial, uh, to help to add up the names that need to be added each year, and for us as a city to be able to provide this park and this area for this memorial is great. So thanks to Larry McCobin and the Park Board. If you would, please, take this with you. Make a little donation to our memorial. That would be very helpful. It's a privilege for me to be here today to introduce <clears throat> your keynote speaker, Major Charles E. Scott, Chaplain at Joint Munitions Command on Rock Island Arsenal. Uh, we, we live in the greatest nation on earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we owe that debt of, debt of gratitude to our, to our veterans. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, just let me share a few words if you would. I want to, it's my privilege to be here today and to honor a very special group of people, Americans veterans. Today, all across our country, in town halls, city squares, parades, and places such as this, we celebrate and honor America's veterans for their devotion, patriotism, and selfless service and sacrifice on behalf of all of us. Veterans Day is a tribute and a reflection but perhaps most importantly, a day of celebration. It's a day of triumph of all of those who served and are serving to keep us free. Veterans Day pays tribute to our veterans and all they make possible for our great nation. Hey! 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 